Skamore. Hello, faithful viewers. <laughs> uh, you have the song stuck in your head now. No. Um, you're welcome. Thanks. Uh, important stuff happening on the Obsidian Portal is why I'm looking at my phone. Because I'm a douchebag. Yeah, he is. I am a douchebag. I'm a douchebag for several reasons, actually, and there's an apology to follow this important revelation. Uh, speaking of, eventual log post titled Revelations, Locations Varies. The elevator dings. When the doors open, the console is at his desk reading the newspaper. He sets it down to look at Nikki as she comes in and stands. The paintings on the walls are gone, and the office is there. Jumping ship, are we? Nikki glides forward smoothly, gracefully settling into one of the chairs. She slides the file folder onto the tabletop as the console sits back down. Nothing of the sort. My commission was delayed. Console picks up the report and thumbs through it. Very thorough. What will you do with your asset on the inside? Nikki gracefully shrugs. We haven't decided yet. Whatever it is, we'll be careful. The monkeys may not be aware that we're meddling just quite yet, but we'd like to keep it that way. He opens a drawer and pulls out two batteries. One of them is half dead, but I appreciate the depth of information you brought me. Still no leads on our father's working. None that we can safely share. There's some suspicions, but the dossier is nowhere near ready. I see you've been getting close to Corbin Chambers. A function of society. I promise, darling. By the way, Corbin's divided attention is helpful. We'll need some maneuvering room in order to deal with our father whenever he decides to make his move. I hear congratulations are in order. The console lays down the paper at the front of the society section on top. Old news by now, but fresh off the press. Nikki Swift, named curator of Ember Hill. In a cafe several buildings down the road, a woman sits, paper spread around her, clearly working. A paper lands on the desk folded to the same article. Hello, Corvin. Janine, would you be so kind as to explain why I'm finding out about this from the society pages and not my trusted staff? The woman counters by pulling a piece of vellum from inside her jacket. When she speaks, she is clearly quoting. So do I swear myself and my family to your service until such a time as we can discover and use a weakness of your character or personality detrimental to your continued power and unknown to you. Finally, she looks up at him. You've lived so long in conflict, Corbin, that your weakness is comfort. You focus on the fire so much recently that you forgot to attend to the normal, the average, all your doom and gloom prophesying. And having seen, I've now gone blind. Corbin looks down at the volume, the boundaries of a pact and promise holding tightly to him. He takes a deep breath, reaches forward, and touches the vellum. It disintegrates as the magic holding it together vanishes. So be it. Now who will you work for? That's none of your business, Corbin. But as a friend, I'm happy to tell you that my family and I tend to pull a Dina. I believe you. By the pricking of your thumbs and all that. Be careful. If I want to come back, I will. But now we have a choice. She returns to her work and feels the thread pulling him up. She returns to his work. Oh, that's uh, a typo. typo. She returns to her work and feeling the thread pulling him elsewhere, Corbin resumes his walk. Aha! Can I put down, um, <clears throat> shit, what is it? Not a, uh, aspiration. Hire Janine. Hire Janine. She makes a fantastic. Why is this one? You don't want my. That was, no, that was your character sheet you were looking for. Yeah, no, I was looking for the word. Oh. It was not on the front. The word is also not on the floor. Can I? That's it. It's a yes. Um. Oh, never mind. Why is yours different? Not. Different. How many? Uh, since I didn't have my character sheet last time, how many beats did we get? Okay, in the last session. That's weird. I totally saw you right down. Where? Notes, <laughs> man. Oh. Uh, I'm trust your viewers will have noticed by now. My notes finger is spotty at best. So, I get a beat? Yes. <clears throat> and I'll come up with a new aspiration by the end of the session. Pages and pepperoni. Kind of weird. Actually good. Where are you hiding peaches? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I know where it is. Actually, in I get two spot. because I finished investigating the MHDA, right? Yep. Woohoo! And you may fill those now. 
Because they technically happened last game session. Okay. This is not what I was looking for? Or what I I was? My I'm trying to think of two for me. So tonight's episode is sponsored by Mountain Dew. And it's desire to become Gross. beer, apparently. Tonight's episode is sponsored by a lot of different things. Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, yeah. What? I mean, they're your pepperoni. Oh, yeah, you stole them from me. <laughs> All right. I have to do new aspirations now. I don't know if Jenny is actually something that I can reasonably achieve. Uh, not in the time frame we have left. Okay. Get the character she got. I'll just play a wizard this time. Good, <laughs> we need one to get rid of the other ones. You're right? I cast magic missile. <laughs> That'd be that really works. deadly in this game. What level is your wizard? Yeah, an RG and Six. D game. So would that be three? Three D four? Yeah, that could wipe a dude out. There's not a lot of health boxes in World of Darkness. Three D four plus three D four plus three? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, an R D and D game our mage is kind of a coward. Automatic hit, no no defense. Yeah, actually our mage is kind of way too coward. It's kind of a pain in the ass. This thing is very. Uh, just uh, yeah, just D&D. Planescape D&D. Okay. Planescape. Planescape. Um, this is my fanfic, apparently D&D. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but I mean, like, great, great product, great product. But, yeah. We visited Wheel of Time. Okay. Yep. Ah. And now we're in Secret of Metaverse. And now they're in Secret of Metaverse, and they visited Shinara verse. I disagreed with Shinaraverse. I don't care. <laughs> I, I thought it was inappropriate to ch change the um, uh, race of one of the players without oh. consent. I didn't change her race. Did you ever did print out the looks better elf. than it she is? A dwarf. Is she is now half elf? She's not half elf. No. She's half elf for the person of Shinara. She is not half elf in D and D. I thought the guy was the half elf. No, the guy's <laughs> human. No, the guy was a half elf in Shinara Chronicles. Oh, which one? No, Alan is not TV half show. elf. Oh, in TV show? Anyway, no, not, not no. the wizard, not the druid. That's that's who. <sighs> we could go into this for like the next three hours, and I prefer not to. Yeah, right. well, none of that applies to the actual fictitious character that the player was, was talking about. If you change that person's heritage, and I did. Story. I did not change her heritage. <clears throat> yeah, the GM right. prerogative to sometimes be Paul Snuffy Booty. Um, no, I did not print it out uh, or post it on the. But so I have no idea what it is. It prevents them from healing. Oh, that's what, that one. Yeah. Looks better than it is. That's right. Oh no, I did write it down. I wrote it down on my character sheet in the. Uh, All right. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh. Yeah, he was gonna try it on himself, and I was like, you should not do that thing. <laughs> oh, that's right. Like, oh, oh my god! I'll not do that thing either. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'll be a simple scratch. <coughs> okay! That's it's fine. I'm just blood a lot. Oh, then service of my dark master! No! <laughs> <laughs> um, How did he die? Cat scratch. Just when he stopped bleeding. More likely he just died of. You know what? Never mind. It's not even relevant. Um, thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. We're drawing closer and closer to the epic conclusion of this first story arc. I've grown to love you all. Uh, hmm? Demons and Acidus. All 18. 18 is legal. 18 now? We had 18 last time, too. But... Yeah, we did. We had 18 last time, too. It hasn't gone. Sharon last. wasn't here. I was like, Sharon, it was the same. Oh. <laughs> you weren't here. <laughs> Yeah, we have 18. That's not heard, I think. Oh. Sharon just decided not to love us for a couple episodes, but that's okay. That's okay. I was ill. It happens to all of us. Yeah, and I've met you while you're ill. You don't love anybody when you're sick. That's true. <laughs> Why do you think I got out of the house? Fend <laughs> 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 um, for yourself! <laughs> yes, so if you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. If you don't like what we're doing, like and subscribe anyways. Because then you can easily find us again. 
when we when you do like what we're doing. True. Yes, exactly. Yes, because we change what we're doing. So that way you can tell everybody how awful this is and show it to them. Yes. Yeah. They need to know how bad we are. Anyways, we totally believe that there is such a thing as bad publicity. Aren't even paying attention? So, when last we left our intrepid agents... Give it back! No! Give it back! No! Give it back! Trust no one! Ah! Effectively, that was the revolution. The last game took... Oh, <laughs> that's right. The spring thing, too. Um... I have, in fact, been running things wrong and giving my players inappropriate impressions of how the universe works. And so for that, I apologize, because uh, demonic embeds, in my opinion, should be classified as a uh, practice of concealment for the purposes of not triggering a sense of magic to mages. And I have not necessarily been running that. I forgot. That was my bad. Um, I have been running the fact that not all mages walk around with all mage sites or all mage armors, because that's dumb. But, I mean, not like the players know that, because they haven't tried to use embeds, because they thought that they were fucking useless. Whoops. Yeah. So, uh... Watson. Actually, Detective Mathers. Teleport out on the Guardian Hill. Give it back, no, give it back, no, give it back, no, give it back, no. And then utilizes Trust No One Antonio to break his alliances with the Concilium and his Cabal. Since it's temporary, it doesn't activate their retributive, retributive fate pledge nonsense because they don't actually have one. Do that to Drinker Val if I dare you. Yeah. Well, that turns out. That won't work so well. Um, Trust no one. Oh, God! What? Why am I bleeding everywhere? <sighs> Fuck you, real hard. <laughs> I think we don't have to deal with changelings, too. No. Um, I then teleported away. Managed to get the ring together in the bolt hole for relative safety. Currently, therein is where we'll pick up. So the three of you are in the bolt hole. Nikki is just about to arrive at the predetermined location. You basically received a burn text and then a location to go to. Um, I am looking at every single page of the guest book. It's filled with signatures. And I'm memorizing every single one. Okay. I mean, some of them are illegible, just like straight up. I don't know what that name is supposed to be. Example, That's not in a language anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I was going to say, for example, that. Yeah. Right, exactly. Like, it's, I don't know what constituent letters are in there. Um, That's squiggles. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you pronounced it right. Yeah. Oh, wait, you mean your name is actually Squiggles? <laughs> <laughs> Most people no. know that the P is silent. P is <laughs> Um... You arrive, you open the door, and it basically opens into a small, now cramped space. Um, since everyone's here. Since everyone's here. With a single lighting source. And your three ringmates. Ah, no, somebody she doesn't recognize. That's right, you're in the you're in your other cover. And what's his bucket? Two ringmates. Don't we have your stigmatic here? No. 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 But he's in much, much less danger now. Yeah, we moved him somewhere safe. No, it's the no. entire Contillium isn't involved. Oh, yes! Uh, so, we're only running from one mage. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy kind of standing there with um, a vest, a white t-shirt, um, cargo jeans, small paint splatters here and there, blonde hair, blue eyes, 5 foot 10, looks to be about 135 pounds. And I... You do recognize... recognize you don't recognize him? You do recognize Vivian, and you do recognize uh, Vanessa. And Vivian is holding uh, Detective Mather's cell phone. 
And wearing his coat. And wearing Detective Mather's coat. Because she's not wearing anything else. Oh. <laughs> and then the, the coat, coat is, is seeing some obvious wear and tear. Yeah, the coat is, is slowly shredding, actually. Slowly shredding? Yeah, she's got a glitch. Like, every time she moves, you see little cuts appear on the coat. Okay, well, given the nature of my message, I'm assuming that I would have expected all of my ring to be here and none of my not ring to be here. So, formerly Detective Mathers, I presume? I go by Matt in this body. I'm coming to you closer. Okay. Did you receive a detailed debriefing about last week, my last week's session? No? Oh, so no, you guys will actually have to do it in character. Yep. The Reader's Digest version. <clears throat> I am looking for clues of... This right. is the linchpin! I guess, start with explaining to, to Sharon in character what his... That's what I was doing! <clears throat> oh, okay. I yeah. was talking in character. I thought you were explaining what you were doing with the guest book first, so... Oh. Well, I was, but I was explaining what I was doing with the guest book in character. Very well. I'm looking for clues on how we can take over this infrastructure. This is the linchpin for the concealment infrastructure. Oh. But we need to return it. The, um... <laughs> he who lives in color. Also, he didn't actually give me his name. I'm pretty sure he was high on something. He was out back behind Ember Hill, and he seems to think that Ember Hill belongs to the mages. It wants it. Yeah, not anymore. So he thinks this is mage property. Interesting. But it belongs to Ember Hill. Yes. And that doesn't belong to the mage. Have you have you gotten that yet? No. Uh, continue to mansplain to me. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> I feel like that was just a swarm of vile, vitreous sarcasm. <laughs> Darling, you wouldn't do that to me, would you? Never. Of course not. <clears throat> so when do you expect to get it? When you said, did you get it yet? I thought you meant, did you understand what I was saying? No! I responded. Oh! <laughs> this is the linchpin, but we have to return it. It's not mage property anymore. Do you get it? No, continue to explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm moving with it. The, I, it. the question wasn't difficult. Did you get it yet? I have Ember Hill. Oh, that was what I was asking. Thank you. So, this is actually your property! Yes. There, I've returned it. It feels like... It well, we'll still have to make sure that, uh... Idiot. Mm -hmm. He who lives in, in color. In living color. In living color. He who lives in color. He who lives in color uh, needs actually, to also I... understand that. So our well, previous. Pop beat every time you guys say that. Right. How about how about Where since we know Suede is one of the monkeys, and a lot of monkeys get rumors from her. How about we go celebrate your acquiring of Ember Hill, with a night at Suede's. That will spread the word, quite quickly. Tabloids are very expedient. And we all know Suede's <laughs> vagina is basically a revolving door of a tabloid. It is already in the newspapers that I own, Ember Hill. Oh, well then, I mean, they're monkeys. They figured it out. I'm That's why sure they, they were grumpy the and trying to come get what they believed was their property from Ember Hill. If they didn't think that Ember Hill was in their control. If they thought Ember Hill was still within their control, they wouldn't have cared if the book remained on that property. 